हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल ऑल अबाउट बायोलॉजी एंड दिस इज ज्योति वर्मा टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट जीरो सीयर एंड प्रीवियसली वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द हाइड्रोसियर एज वेल एज द सक्सेशन एंड इट्स टाइप्स इन डिटेल सो इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन इट येट यू कैन सी इट फ्रॉम द प्ले लिस्ट सेक्शन सो कमिंग टू जीरो सीयर जीरो सीयर बिगेन्स ऑन बैरन रॉक्स और रॉकी सबस्ट्रैटम एंड इट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ अ बैरन रॉक इन टू अ फॉरेस्ट साइट so coming to our first stage that is the pioneer community and in this community there are lichens that are growing over the barren rocks initially crustose lichens like graphis hematoma lycidia and rhizocarpon grow on these barren rocks so as you all are aware of it that there are three types of lichens crustose folios and fruticos so out of them crustose lichens are the first that will grow on the barren rocks and how they will grow on the barren rocks they are soridia cephalodia and isdia these are the asexual structures of the lichens they basically came by wind and they settle over bare rocks and then they grow into crustose lichen that's how the crustose lichen grow over bare rocks the crustose lichen develop thin flat and crust like hard thalli that is closely adhered to the substratum by means of rhizines the crustose lichen have a crust like appearance and they are flat in nature you can only see its fruiting body they are very closely adhered to the substratum so as the crustose lichen are growing up over the rock surface and they continue to die then their dead and decaying thalli will produce a thin layer of humus over the rock surface and in this process of decomposition certain acids are produced due to the decomposition of crustose lichen that bring about the weathering of rocks that produce certain cracks within the rock particle that will be suitable for the growth of other type of communities now coming to the serial communities that consist of several stages the first one is the folios lichen stage so after the crustose lichen uh, there develops a thin layer of soil over the rock surface that provides a suitable environment for the folios lichen lichens like parmelia xanthoria and dermatocarpa are the example of folios lichens so these folios lichens are large size leaf like lichen that have lobed thalli they gradually replace the crustose forms and they produce organic matter for humification and mineralization at faster rate so whenever there is death and decay of the folios lichen they will produce a kind of organic matter that will bring about humus formation or humification and mineralization at a faster rate now coming to our second stage that is the moss stage after the folios lichen mosses and liverworts both need a thin layer of soil and a thin layer of soil is available here on the rock surface after the folios lichen stage so mosses like funaria pogonatum and polytrichum appear on such substratum and they replace the lichens certain fruticos lichen may also be seen at this stage and decomposition of moss further helps in weathering of the rocks and ultimately it will increase the thickness of the soil layer liverworts like marchensia rixia and pelia are available in this stage now coming to our third stage that is the herbs stage after the mosses and the liverworts there has been developed a thick layer of soil over the rock due to which this environment is suitable for the growth of herbs there and at this stage the xeric environment is converted into a mesic condition because during the earlier time there were rocks there was a xeric environment there because there was lack of water there was a scarcity of water but after these stages the condition has became mesic because a soil layer has been developed there which can retain enough moisture in their capillaries so now the condition here is a mesic condition because of the presence of enough moisture within the capillaries of the soil herbaceous plants like tridex linderbergia ageratum and vernonia will be available in this stage coming to our fourth cereal stage that is the shrub stage and in this stage the herbaceous plants are replaced by woody shrubs 
seeds and propogules of the shrubs migrate from the nearby area as we have discussed it earlier in our succession video so the common shrubs that are available here are zizifers casea urina and tephrosia now coming to our third stage that is the climax community which is regarded as the final or stable community of the process of succession and in this stage the shrubs are replaced by the woodland stage which finally develops into a forest with unique biodiversity. The forest type within the climax community will vary according to the type of region. So, in temperate region, you will be able to see trees like abies, cedrus, taxus, cephalotaxus and oak. However, in the tropical region, the climax community includes trees like acacia, prosopis, albizia, shoria, dalvergia and tectona. So this is the climax community which is the final stage of the zero sphere and that is all about for today if you like the video just subscribe to my channel for further updates thank you so much